Most of the 2,000 victims of the conflict in Kosovo have been ethnic Albanians, but the Serbs have had their losses as well. On Sunday, the funeral of a Serbian policeman killed two days ago was held in the small village of Jakovica, 37 miles southwest of Pristina. He is believed to have been killed by Albanians, probably members of the Kosovo Liberation Army. Predrad Rakovic died near here, in a village close to the Albanian border. The killing led to a shootout between Serbian security forces and suspected members of the Kosovo Liberation Army, which left 23 Albanians dead. Negotiations between the Serbs and the ethnic Albanians still seem a long way off. The hardline KLA strongly reject any peace talks that would not lead to total independence for Kosovo. The Yugoslav government has not said it will attend peace talks scheduled for early February. Meanwhile, harrowing scenes like these will continue to be regular occurrences in the region. Across the province there were similar scenes being enacted, but with one fundamental difference. This time the dead were an ethnic Albanian couple, Sabri and Hania Kurti, the parents of six children. Kosovo Albanians say they were shot by Serb police as they returned from their fields, a claim the Serbs deny. A relative said the couple were fetching fodder for their cattle when their tractor broke down and they refused to stay overnight in the village. They returned home but were killed en route. Whoever is responsible, the two are certainly victims of the cycle of violence, which threatens to drag the province into a bloody civil war.